Hello and welcome to Beautiful Themes Tutorials. Today, we're going to learn how to add buttons in WordPress with and without shortcodes. Buttons are useful for your site to add various types of links for sharing and downloading. There are mainly three ways of adding buttons in WordPress. The first one is using the Gutenberg editor, the second one is using button shortcodes, and the third one is without using button shortcodes. You can easily add a button in WordPress if you're using the Gutenberg editor. First, add a new block and go to Layout Elements. Then, click on Button. After that, add the text you want to add into the button. You can even change the button styles in the left side. Also, you can change the button type, font and color. Now, to add a button using shortcodes, you need to install and activate a plugin called the Max Buttons. Once the installation is complete, go to the newly added Max Buttons option and click on Add New. This will take you to the button editor page where you can create a button as per your requirements. You can add button name, URL, text, font, padding, color, width and etc. There are many more settings like the borders, backgrounds, if you scroll down. While you're making these changes, you can even see a live preview of the button on the right hand side. After you're done creating the button, click on save. To add the button to your post, click on add button option, which is added to the top of your post editor. Then select the button you just created. This adds the button shortcode to your post editor and your button will be added to your post. Lastly, to add buttons to your WordPress site without shortcodes, Install and activate a plugin called Forget About Shortcodes Buttons. After installing and activating the plugin, go to the post editor and click on the newly added insert button. Then, you can add the button name, URL and customize the button. You can even choose an icon from the icon tab. Not only this, you can even save the template of your newly created button for later use. If you found this video tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our beautiful themes channel.